Now listen, I'm gonna be honest, okay? This gator's been dead for two weeks. <laughs> hey, until he starts to stink. <laughs> Playing dead is Sebastian's best trick. Come on, let's go to your spot. Come on, go to your spot. Let's go. So now you, you pull a hamstring. <laughs> this one goes here. This one goes here. This one goes here. Hey, you know you're walking. Yeah. You still come out of the house tonight? Hey, just bring dessert. I got tons of food. <laughs> and don't bring the girl. That's like bringing sand to the beach. It's going to be crazy. Now you get a little wine. Come on, let's go, son. Come on, let's go. Let's do one show anymore. Come on, let's go, son. <laughs> I forgot it's one of the old wood star models. Five gas. Come on, Sebastian. Let's go. Come on, let's just get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's my toes you said, but I'll get you. Okay, you can straight it out here, so there you go. Thanks. I'm not as comfortable as I can do it. You know, if you're trying to like me, this would look exciting. Come here, my boy. Ooh, sorry, so this, yeah, maybe you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> Back in the 1800s, and you're out catching alligators. You're doing that to feed your family, but you always want to do it. You want to catch them alive. I'm here to eat spoils very quickly in the hot Florida sun. First thing you want to do, obviously, tie the jar shut. Gave of his size over 2,000 pounds of crushing power for squirrels and jaws. It's enough to crush any bone in your body. Go ahead, show it. Just kidding. Uh, tying the jaws by yourself can be a little challenging. You do need two hands uh, to tie a good knot, and something has to hold the mouth closed while you're doing that. And you risk losing your fingers in the process. So the Seminoles came up with a technique they now refer to as bulldogging, holding the jaws closed with your chin in your chest. It was for your hands up, give me time to take out leather and rope and tie it up. If you want to take a picture with your both arms go out to the side, and it's the blood pouring down my throat. Usually when I tell the kids to just stay in school. <laughs> Judging by the one golf club I just got, apparently the rest of you people not really impressed with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I will try to redeem myself on that too. In the meantime, we're going to touch a few the parts of the alligator's anatomy. The eyes of an alligator are very well protected, very deep eye sockets. Anything threatens the eyes, they will drop to the bottom of the eye sockets on the way out. Thick, leathery eyelids come down to help protect them. Lower eyelids like you and I have. He also has that third eyelid called a Mixed titanium membrane, little transparent lens you may have just removed from front to back and back to front. It acts to clean dust and bring away from the eyes. It also kind of acts as a bit of goggles to the elder of the water. Oh. Uh, behind the eyes, out here is ears, these little flaps right here. Even with these small ears, they still hear about as well as you and I on land. They also hear very well under the water. And if he does this fast enough, he can actually fly. <laughs> that would hit this back, of course, that'd be crazy. <laughs> but if that worked, I promise you I would fly anywhere. <laughs> Between the ears, behind the eyes, you're looking at it about there, I'm going to get brain. I'm going to get brain's about the size of my thumb. They say there's only one animal in the entire world. It has a smaller brain to body size ratio, and of course it's the alligator wrestler. <laughs> I'm going to figure it out though. Probably not today. But uh, these bony plates you see over the back, they're called scutes. They are solid bone osteoderms. They do two things for the alligator. Number one, it is armor plating. It protects them from predators, from alligators, during the territorial mating disputes. It also acts as a solar pair. Uh, when it's cold, these guys lay out in the sun with that dark black skin. The sun beats down, heats up that skin, and each one of those scutes is covered with little blood vessels. So that blood will heat up, circulate through the body, increasing the energy of metabolism. 
And you'll notice I said the skin went black and not green. Because almost every sign, almost every t-shirt, cartoon, painting, stuffed animal, rubber toy, high school, college mascot, you're going to see the alligator, it's almost always green. Um, <laughs> not too smart, but that's not green. That's fine. Now, separates alligator wrestling from alligator capture, of course, dangerous stunts, doing a couple of foolish things, like we'll do right now. First trick is called the Florida Spun, which is simply opening the alligator's mouth if you let me. <laughs> I don't know why that works, but it usually does. <laughs> so weird. He's got 40 teeth on top and 40 teeth on the bottom. If you look in the back of his throat, it appears he has little to no throat opening. He has an oversized palatal valve or guanus, which allows him to go in the water, capture food without drowning. He would usually then surface above the water to swallow that food. <laughs> he likes to make him look dangerous sometimes. He's a bit of a showman. <laughs> You do realize without me you'd be a suitcase, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just follow the script again. Listen, we're like 0 for 2 when it falls right now. This is not what I said by this. This thing even on. I was like Dave Chappelle all day. You guys just roll into town like a funeral. Uh, you probably a laughing on the inside kind of crowd, that's all it is. <laughs> so I'll do this last trick and let you guys go back to sleep. <laughs> I make myself laugh with four The last trick is called a face off because if by chance I do mess up. Yeah. And this one also going to show you exactly what a bachelor's degree in psychology is. From the University of Massachusetts, anyway. My parents wasted a lot of money in college. I don't really appreciate the fact that I make bad jokes about it and now I get I'm 52 years old and my dad's still telling me to give him his money back. Trust me, I wouldn't ever have it. Last trick, no hero stuff. <coughs> so weird. Listen, if you try to bite me right now, this would look exciting. It's like I'm trying to keep my dog in a bathtub. If you slap me in the butt with that tail, you're going to buy me some flowers and tell me you love me first. Hey, I'm not so prudent. When you start spanking me around, I expect some romance first. <laughs> Otherwise, you just feel cheap. You feel off the rails. Come on, face up. So weird. Listen, I wasn't going to tell you this. I Listen, I have a whole, I have a whole thing of, if you move out here, <laughs> yeah, a whole train of Girl Scout cookies with your name on it. Can I make them with the real Girl Scouts? Oh, please. <laughs> don't, don't feel bad for those kids. They came to my house peddling shortbread cookies. They deserved it. I knew there were three minutes in the trunk. <laughs> I think we can all agree right here, right now. Show me two kinds of Girl Scout cookies. Thin mints and Samoas. That's it. Take those tag alongs and go see W in on the driveway. <laughs> and the box of thin mints, that's still this month. That's not a joke. I've been writing letters and emails, did petitions going for over 20 years. I'm dead serious. They said we get a box of thin mints really careful. It says something crazy, like eight servings. <laughs> on what plan? There are two servings, tops. One sleeve and the other, if you just happen to be on a hunger strike, <laughs> you have to share. But if you're home alone and the box is in the freezer, who are you kidding? That whole box is going to serve. Last trick was low.
children. It's amazing how fast they move, isn't it? Now you can appreciate why you have to run zigzag. Yeah? Otherwise, they would never catch you. They started that whole thing. You ever heard of that? Just been out here to run zigzag? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That's not your fault. They've been pushing that on students and tourists down here for like 50 years. Listen, don't run zigzag, just run. I mean, if you're going to do anything, you trip the kids and you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not trip the kids and you walk away. If it comes down to it, come on, man. They are smaller and faster than we are. They've got a much better chance. <laughs> That kid right there is so hopped up on Mountain Dew and Skittles right now, that game has no chance. They've been doing that reverse matrix flip where he's running upside down. The game is like, oh crap, he's on Skittles. What do we got time for that? All right, guys, uh, with that, that is the end of the show. Again, any putting the basket down there does going to help save more of these beautiful alligators, just like Sebastian. Always appreciate it. Thanks for coming out, guys, and God bless you. Woo!